post-order traversal is another way to traverse the nodes in a tree. Here is a post-order traversal algorithm for a binary tree. It is called post-order because we don't visit the node that we are until after visiting all of the children. So, in order to do a post-order traversal of this tree, we begin at the root, which is A, and then we would traverse left, which is going to put us at B, and then on B we're in traverse oh. node again, so we would traverse left, that's going to put us at D. At D, we try to traverse left and there's nowhere to go. We try to traverse right and there's nowhere to go. And uh, then we visit self, and so we visit D. After that, we go back up to B. Uh, we've been left from B, but we haven't been right, so we go right. Sorry, we go right down to E. From E, we can't go left, we can't go right. So all we do is visit E itself. Then we come back up to B. From B, we've been left, we've been right, so the only thing remaining is to visit self. So we visit B. Then from B, we go up to A. From A, uh, we return back to uh, the recursive call from A. From A, we've done the traverse left, but we haven't done the traverse right yet, so we come over here to C. From C, uh, we uh, do traverse left, first of all, which puts us on F. We can't traverse left, we can't traverse right, so we visit F. And then we come back up to C. Uh, we've been to the left, now we try to go to the right. We can't do that, so then we visit C itself. And then we come back up to A. We've been left, we've been right, so now we do the visit self. And so this is the order of traversal uh, that, uh, this is the order of visiting that is yielded by a post order traversal where we don't visit the parent until visiting, or visit the node that we are until visiting both of its children. Now, there is a way to do this uh, by uh, drawing a boundary around the tree that uh, fits in the tree. So let me draw a boundary that fits as closely in as it can. So think a rubber band or something that encloses the tree um, in its shape. And then to do a post-order traversal, we uh, visit a node when we go to the right of it. So A, B, so go to the left, go to the left, go to the left, go beneath. Okay, so we go to the right of D, so we output D. We come up here to B, we go under B, uh, then we come down under E, we go to the right of E, so we visit E. Then we come over here to the right of B, we visit B. We may come up to A, but we're only under it, not to the right of it. Come over to C, uh, we come over to C, we go to the left of it, we come over to F, we go to the left of it, we go under it. Finally, we go to the right of F, and so we visit F. And then we come over here to uh, the right of C, so we visit C, and then we come over here to the right of A, and we visit A. So, just to review how to do the three different kinds of traversals with this, um, a post-order traversal, we mark on the right of a node, sort of after we're coming back from having been all the way around it. Uh, to do a pre-order traversal, we mark on the left of a node, starting from the left. Um, so we mark a node as soon as we get to it. To do an in-order traversal, we uh, visit a node when we go beneath it, uh, which is what happens between the left and right shoulder. So this was a post-order traversal of a tree. You can also traverse a tree by doing a um, uh, level uh, traversal uh, straight across, and uh, that's easy enough to see what that would produce on a tree, and I'm not going to talk about it uh, more in these videos.